it's Sunday morning. It's about seven here to seven thirty nine in the morning. Um, just uh, cleared out of my room, trying to be as quiet as possible with you know twelve people trying to sleep. Um, my last bunk mate uh, came in at like three in the morning. So, and this is to show you what the. Uh, Bathroom facilities look like and shower, very simple, but there's another one there and another one there. So in our dorm there's 12 in there and then there's a the corridor there, there's some more that way. So today what I'm going to do is for the last Sunday I'm going to walk around uh, Edinburgh and I think I have something planned. See what the weather's like outside, but if all goes to well I should have something very special, so stay tuned. Okay, so there's the uh, hostel. Now, I didn't stay in that one. I had to go down this alleyway like I showed yesterday. So it wasn't the main facility. So that let me down a little bit because um, there's no lounge and stuff in that separate building. Now, can't fault the uh, bed. I slept well. Um, the guy that was in the bunk below me, he was actually, he's from Canada, believe it or not. And he's a doctor in Limerick, a young lad. Um, he said he's been to uh, Wexford uh, for a few weeks, so, you know, on rotation and all that. But he went out and I guess they all came in around three o'clock in the morning. Now I had my goggles on my ear pieces, so didn't really notice it, so it was grand. So the weather's holding off pretty good. So what I wanted to do for the last hurrah is attempt to go up Arthur's uh, seat. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk down uh, the uh, Royal Mile to where you have the uh, Holyrood uh, Palace and uh, oh, let's go before the bus hits us and uh, we're going to go down there to uh, Holyrood, turn right and then there's a squiggly uh, to the right and there should be the hill to climb for looks like a period of steep climb I have my backpack with me I was debating on whether leaving it there it was a three pound charge to leave it there whereas the uh, the hostel I stayed yesterday there was no charge and that was just on that street right there Blackfriar Street so you see how close it was you just go down and it's on the right hand side there so between the two recommendations I would recommend the first one so if I was here coming here for the weekend I would have stayed there for the two nights plus it was 10 pounds cheaper which makes it even so much better so now I'm just gonna head down to the end of the Royal Mile I'll turn it off now and when we get to the bottom of the, the hill I'll uh, turn it back on and so you can see Arthur's seat and then we'll go up to the top and hopefully the rain will stay away while we're doing this so we're at the bottom part of the Parliament building there's some, uh, you know, decorations on the outside of the wall, sculpted in the um, stone. And then, here's Scottish Parliament entrance for Cannon Gate entrance, householders only. And then you can see there's the Hollywood uh, uh, House uh, Palace right at the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn right here at the Queen's Gallery. See that in front of us? And you can see right in front of me, I don't know if the GoPro picks up the enormity of it, but that in itself is Arthur's seat. You can see it jump up in front of you. Overlooks the Parliament. Here's the rest of the uh, Parliament. Now you can go in there, but uh, it's open for uh, uh, visitors. There's a nice water feature in front of the parliament. Open Monday to Saturday, so it wouldn't be open today. Um, and there's the building itself, and look at how big that seat is just in front of us. And that's what I'm going to do today, hopefully, weather permitting. Uh, I've been really lucky with the weather this weekend. It was supposed to rain every single day when I was booking the, uh, you know, the. Uh, visit to the castle which I remind you yeah if you're gonna go see the castle you have to book it in advance because I had booked it on the Wednesday before for the Friday 
Um, when I was there waiting to go up at uh, for 12 o'clock on uh, Friday, there was tons of people with kids and everything um, wanting to go see it. And they were all told, no, no, it's booked out and it's booked out Saturday. You might try Sunday. So you want to book in advance so you don't get disappointed. The castle is a lovely place to see and try to schedule your visit for 12 o'clock because at 1 o'clock you have the 1 o'clock gun, which you'll see in my uh, Edinburgh Castle uh, vlog. You want to see it? Here's a seagull enjoying herself in the water feature here. It's very nice and pleasant. And there's a big seat up there. So, now supposedly there's a whole bunch of different routes to take. Um, here's a nice, look at all the grass feature the way it is. And, Looks like little seating areas around. Surprised there's not more birds in it. Very nice people are out for their morning jogs. Anyways, we'll turn it off for a bit. I'm gonna get a little closer to where we're starting. It's in front. And there's City of Edinburgh by me. So basically there is a pathway up ahead. You can see in the distance somebody's over there. Said it's very windy up top. I was just asking two people who had just been up there. They said hold on to your hat because very gusty up there. So hopefully we'll find out and see what it's like. It is windy down here already. I could feel it. Hopefully the, uh, the noise uh, producers are working. The old dead cats. And uh, see people getting stretched and ready. Then we'll cross over and head up that way. So I'm walking up like it's a path way so far. Past one people, one person going up and then two coming down. It's uh, still windy, but uh, my fingers are crossed that the rain doesn't start. Allows me to get up there and back. Check my phone, and I think it's supposed to start at around 11. So hopefully I have time to get up there and back. Not really sure how long it takes, but we'll see. Let me see what it looks like so far back there. There's the city in the background. So we'll just keep going on. Here, there's a Arthur Seat Summit. Goes left. So, there's the trail, it keeps going that way, but it tells me to go left, so we'll see what that is. Maybe that goes around up there. Maybe that's the summit up there, that point. Anyways, follow the instructions, as they say. So as I'm following around, this is an old, you know, ruin of a building on the side of the, the hill there. I don't know if you can see it right, right there. I see people going up ahead there on their way down so when there I see other people so we'll see. Let's keep going but these are the hills that are all around me now and I've only been walking for I don't know 15 minutes or so 20 minutes I don't know just keep going. Beautiful Sunday morning. There's no uh, breeze in the in the valley here. As you see, we're surrounded by hills, and we'll just keep making our way up, following the road. Oh, look at this! There's a, a water feature. The person in the um, travel agency there, the the tourist information, told me about it. See all the, uh, the swans in the water. And supposedly there's a an otter that hangs out there too, supposedly she said, but it's hard to see all the time. So let's keep going up, following the path. Just starting to get on an incline up. There's these stone steps to help you on the way up. I guess if it was rainy too, they'd be rather slick, so you'd have to watch your foot. I have my hiking boots on, so shouldn't be an issue. 
be nice to have hiking poles maybe take some of the weight off the backpack but like I said it's not a huge hike so there's the city as we're walking up and we're still going up you can see people right at the crest it goes all the way up there that's where we're headed we're getting a little closer you can still see where you have to go it's a fair incline it's a fair hike we're starting to see more and more of the city as we get up there so keep plodding along it's good Sunday morning exercise so we're still climbing up you see there's people up in the distance as we get a little closer heading up this steep incline we'll stop at this rock and turn around and see how far we've gotten so far hope you appreciate this and if you do hit that like button please and there we are it's getting there there's somebody running so a small break here gives you an overview of the city and the water in the background and uh, still have all that way and all the way up to the top to go okay it's very windy up here hopefully the wind doesn't affect the sound too much here's where we are so far and here's where we're going views at the top. Wow, you can see a bit of everything here. Steep, very hard. Yeah, it's very nice. Can you take a picture of me with the GoPro? You don't have to take a picture, just hold it. I'll use this for my thumbnail. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, you enjoy it. I brought a little cheeky little bottle of wine and a Snickers bar. So, I'm gonna have that before I make my descent down. Figure out what's the best way to come down. Okay, so, I'm gonna enjoy the time at the top for a little bit. I brought a cheeky little bottle of rose wine and a Snickers bar. So I'm gonna enjoy that while I'm here. My buddy's doing the smart thing, having some water. I'm just having the wine. Thank it, I earn it. See you later. Okay, I had a little bit of the wine, the Snickers bar, get a little energy. Now, trying to figure out the way, there's a little friend of mine I uh, shared a piece of my Snickers with. Very used to people and getting snacks, it looks like. And now figure out a way to get the, down before the rain starts. Look at the clouds over there. Might get a little wet. Um, this seems like a way to go. I'll give it a shot and I'll see you down at the bottom.
So now I'm almost full circle. We're almost at the end point. Now I'm gonna have to change my shirt and my jacket and that's so sopping wet. Here was the uh, sign that we took. So, very good day. Nice walk in the morning. Good prep for when I go to Nepal. So make sure you hit that uh, like button. It helps with the algorithms. And uh, follow me on, uh, it's growing and we're trying to get it bigger. I wanna get up to a thousand as soon as I can and show you more places where I visit and my experiences. And uh, thanks again for watching. So signing off from Edinburgh and put a comment on where you want to see me go next before I head off to Nepal in two months.